Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Coach Chris from AccuTrader.net coming at you from 11 a.m. Central Time on Thursday, August 29th, 2024. And I'm filming a video uh, today to continue the series of technical analysis I've been putting out uh, once or twice a week uh, to help newer traders um, learn the art of trading, not only um, technical analysis, why price action works the way it does. You know, when you first get into trading, uh, it, it's very overwhelming because uh, if you're not familiar with reading candlestick charts and doing technical analysis, uh, it's it's very overwhelming. And then you have all kinds of terms that people are throwing at you. Um, and, and it's very hard to actually develop a, a, not only a trading system, but one that is consistently profitable. And there's, first of all, there's a lot of misinformation that's put out there on the internet. And uh so much information it's hard to sift through and synthesize what truly is important and what you need to be studying and working on perfecting versus uh all of the hype i'll call it that's out there of you know the traders making you know ten thousand dollars a day driving around in their ferraris and all of that kind of thing so what I what I've been trying to do with this uh, series of videos is start with some of the core building blocks that you can uh, study. I I can introduce them and show you uh, a little bit about them, and then you can go on and when you have time, do further research to find how it might be applicable to you and your set of circumstances. Every one of us is different, and that's great. And we all think differently. We all um, have different speeds that we act and we speak on. Uh, and so it's, it's important that you find out what is going to work for you and your personality and what you want to achieve in your trading. And in order to do that, you have to know what is available and what tools are out there that might be helpful for you to accomplish uh, those goals. Now, I hope that makes <laughs> I made some sense to you. I'm not sure if it really did. But uh, today's topic uh, I'm going to be talking about is the Fibonacci sequence. It's also uh, people refer to it as the Fibonacci retracement. I'm going to explain what it is and how it's applied to trading and why or why not, it may actually be um, uh, important to you. So the Fibonacci is a, it's, it's a mathematical concept discovered a long time ago, uh, almost a thousand years ago, okay, by a guy in Pisa, Italy, by the name of Fibonacci, okay, and he was a mathematician, in the Middle Ages, and he was obviously extremely, extremely uh, smart. And he noticed there was a, what, what he called a sequence or an equation, and basically what the Fibonacci sequence is, is it's, it's a sequence where each number is the sum of the two preceding ones okay so instance so for instance you have one and one equals two two plus one equals three three plus three equals six and you can see how um this starts to to build on itself and then as you as you dive deeper into it uh it can be applied to a lot of things for instance it was also observed that this uh, sequence is observ observable in nature. For instance, if you look at the spirals of seeds at the center of a sunflower, and you see the circular kind of 
uh, pattern where it, it, it starts out small in the middle and then starts growing. And then uh, the same with these um, uh, shells. Uh, you can see how they how they grow on each other. And as they grow, it builds as you get larger and larger. Um, and so it is not only applied uh, mathematically, but it's proven to appear in nature. Okay, and so here you see um, uh, some further articles, and you can research all of this at your own leisure, you know, just to see what the basis behind this whole concept is. Well, what has happened is, I'm just going to go to a five-minute chart of the, uh, I guess this is the, uh, uh, the ES. What has happened is this Fibonacci sequence or retracement has, um, it's, it's been applied into the financial world and into technical analysis. And what people have noticed is that the market, when it is going up and down, it likes to retrace to certain known areas. And a lot of the times, it, they correspond to the numbers uh, of the Fib Fibonacci retracement, which I'm going to illustrate here in a, mi a minute. Now, before I do this, I want you to remember that this is not magic or anything mystical, okay? It's, it's actually a tool that you can add to your tool belt to either make decisions, it shouldn't be the only tool that you use to make decisions. No tool should ever be, you should rely yourself on just one tool. But it can it can serve as, um, as confirmation of either your, your strong beliefs of where it's going to go based on price action or based on other tools that you have. Um, and I'll show you that in a, in a minute. It can be used to see where the market might be headed, either up or down and where, where it might end. And so ultimately then you can use it to enter the market or uh, where you wanna set your take profit, okay? It can also act a Fibonacci as a, um, as, a as a form of supply and resistance on the different areas. So once you put that on your chart, you can identify where uh, possible, if you're going up, where uh, up above there may be some signs of resistance to your trade. And on the opposite is if the market is coming down, where are some possible zones where there may be resistance? Now, the one thing you I do also want you to understand is even though we very often draw the Fibonacci sequence a retracement as lines, you'll see them as lines, and each one has got a percentage of retracement. It isn't, even though it's a line on the chart, that doesn't mean it's going to go exactly to that tick, even though it very often will. You want to look at it more of an area, either an area around the line or an area between the different, um, the different um retracement zones so enough talking let me let, let me uh throw it on the chart okay let me so if you go into trading view and most software they're gonna have uh, a tool and it's going to be called the fib retracement and you'll also find a lot of indicators have been built around this subject now does the market, the, the market doesn't know anything. It doesn't go to a specific level uh, just based on what happens in nature, right? What we believe is going on here is these retracements are used by many institutional traders. And also when they program their algorithms to do their automated trading for them, they are heavily influenced by the Fibonacci sequence numbers. That's why, uh, it, it, so, so it ultimately almost becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, these different zones. You'll, you'll sit there and wonder, geez, how did that go exactly to that point? Well, that's because 
the guys who coded these algorithms who are basically driving the market at different times, they they have used this in the programming, and that's why they're going to these specific uh, areas. So we as as uh, retail traders, we want to piggyback on where they may or may not be bringing the price, so we can either go and so we can go along for the ride. So the basic way to use, I've selected the the the, the tool by clicking on it over here to the left. And what you do is you want to go to the most recent swing high or swing low. And what I mean by that is a swing high is the most recent point within that you can see to the left of where the market has been. Now, we're actually making a new high right here because the market is live as I'm, as I'm recording this. So we're going to go, where is the next high to the left? It's right here at the tip of this candle. So just for the sake of this, um, uh, I've got to get rid of this. Uh, I got to turn this off here. Uh, let's just go over here, actually. Get rid of that because I can't do two things at a time. So I'm going to go to the top of that candle and draw a horizontal line. Get this out of our way. And then I'm going to go to the most recent swing low. There is a swing low right here. But I'm going to go to this one just because it'll be easier to illustrate for the sake of this video. And then I'm going to draw a horizontal line there. So swing low, swing high, the most recent lowest point that the market has gone. This got close, that got close. So then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select the Fibonacci tool. And I'm going to click on the swing low. Okay. And I'm going to drag it up here to the swing high. Right up there. And then I'm going to move it over to the right on my chart so we can see how this might work in our trade. Okay, so there it is on the chart. And you'll notice, let me just see if I can grab it and move it. Because it, it's, uh, I want to show you over here. These are the different retracement levels. This number one is where we're starting from, either going up or going down. And then you'll see there's levels along the way. Uh, this, and you'll hear these referred to as the 78.6 level, the 61.8 level. We all know the 50% retracement level, the 38.2, and then the 23.6 retracement. And so you'll hear, you'll often hear traders re referring, oh, yeah, it went back to the 23.6 FIB retracement level. You know, it sounds like Chinese, right? Well, that's what they're talking about in this case. And so we overlay that on, on the uh, chart. And then remember, the market moves in one of two ways, okay? It'll go up, you'll get a pullback, and then it will pull back up or it will be going down, pull back, and then continue downward. And when we look at that on a chart, you'll see that. So let's just, I'm just going to average this. So for instance, we're going up, then we come down. Well, that didn't take. They're coming down. And now what are they doing? They're going back up. Okay. So now, Let's say we're at, we're up here and we're thinking about possibly getting in a trade. Okay. Now, one of the things that you, that people might think is, well, we, we went above this high. It may be time for the market to pull back. Well, where is a likely, point for the market to pull back from here okay well we can see here how there's been a lot of activity around this area hasn't there okay it was serving it couldn't it was it was trying to get above it got above came back below got above and went right look where that went right to the tip of that okay then retraced actually went below both of those zones and then it was kind of hovering in this area so if you were a betting person or wanted to predict where price may go, 
where do you think that might be? Okay, well, might it be somewhere around here? Okay, which if we measure that, that's 10 points, which is a nice little trade. And that would be the 23.6 replacement level. Once we got here, then the market is going to do one of two things, isn't it? It's going to either reverse and go back up or continue downward, okay? Or do some more of this where it, con it consolidates, goes sideways for a while, and then either goes up or breaks down. But with the Fibonacci numbers, we know that that is a likely place uh, for, for this to go. Because remember, the, the, the market tends to revisit areas that it's already gone. So if we look, this up move is, you know, that's a pretty good measurement. It, it may be a little longer. Let me just extend that up a little bit. But if we look at that, that's a, that's a good distance of, of the up. Well, you look at here, we're we're almost gone up so logically we're we're running out of steam the market can't just keep going up and up and up it needs fuel okay and the way it gets fuel is by retracing and coming back down if it's if it's up in an uptrend like this it has to retrace back down and what they call, they're picking up liquidity. I call it energy also. And then they will continue on with the next, ne next leg up if they get enough fuel, okay? But you can see here how it's running out of steam. These candles all have big wicks on the top of them. They're going up. They're trying to get liquidity going up, trying to get price acceptance on the top. Eventually, what's going to happen is you're going to see something like this where you'll get a candle up and it may be happening right now. And we call that a sweep of liquidity. And if I bet if you had the volume chart out, you'd know on these two candles, there's probably an, a, in an inordinate amount of volume that'll come in on those two candles. It'll sweep all this liquidity. That's any resting orders or anything that's up there. And then it'll come back down. We don't know how far, but look what it did. It came almost down to that 38.2. In fact, it did. This one I, I see now, it actually went almost to the to the 50% retracement with that wick. And then it did just the opposite. It swept liquidity to the bottom, and that gave it additional fuel, and boom, right back up. I just heard a beep. I must have got stopped out of an order. I had an order on another screen, and I, I, I was thinking that it was going to go the other way, and obviously it didn't on that particular chart. So I think what will happen here is we're going to get a retracement. We just don't know how far down it's going to go, but this would be a good bet, okay, that this is on the ES, okay? So I'm hoping that that's making sense to you, okay? So each of these can be key levels. Obviously, the first one we come to is the one we concentrate on first, but as we're getting deeper into it, um, then the other levels, and here again, remember, it's drawn as a straight line on the chart. Okay, look at what's happening right now. This is live. Okay, look, at we got a big, we got the sweep of liquidity. Now let's see if this will continue down in any way, shape, or form. Um, remember, even though these are lines in the chart, it's actually an area, and you can see that, like with these candles, you know, it goes a little above, a little below, you know, maybe a one to five point area. I, I'm not going to be in, but also remember, market conditions vary. It's 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 always going to be changing. Like today, we're seeing some nice big candles appearing again, which is really nice because it's a little easier to predict rather than when you get this kind of action, which I call whippy, where you're getting big big wicks on either side and then a small candle body in the middle. 
that's very hard to trade that or this here uh, you know where it goes way down and then wicks back because these occur very very quickly and if you're trading with any size that's a very big dollar swing in either in either direction it either is going to um go against you very quickly or get you into profit very quickly if you're lucky enough to have guessed um the the, the right direction okay so here again please study this further on your own there's a lot of great videos uh out there on the subject and um with this you'll feel a lot more comfortable in your trading knowing that you know where the market is likely to go um really will help you in determining uh should i get into a trade at this point either high or low i would say no this is a no kind of we're in a no man's land here we, we're not sure really what's going to happen in the middle here but now if we're down here at this level we know it's going to either go here down to here likely or back up to here and then we do further research with our other tools so um you know stock we have limited information when we're trading stocks we're since we're day traders we're not really worried about you know global economic events we're only worried about the next you know short time of what may or may not be happening in the market based on how this order flow and so the Fibonacci sequence should be added to your arsenal um, in order to, to uh, like I said, confirm where things may be going. It's just another tool that you can add um, to hopefully keep you on the right side of the trade, give you more comfort during your trade, knowing um, that the trade was based on logic what the market ends up doing we can't control but it will give you comfort knowing there was a good thesis for your trade and that um based on the information you had at the time you entered the trade this was the most likely outcome and then put the trade on and let it play out okay well i hope this video was helpful i'll be coming up with some more technical uh analysis videos I'm going to try to do a minimum of one to two a week. If there are any topics out there that you're struggling with, by all means, leave them in the co uh, comment and I'll try and do a video. Some of the, um, some of the subjects that I, I've started doing uh, videos on uh, for upcoming is FVGs, fair value gaps, what they are, what they mean, uh, and then also order blocks. What are those? what uh do they mean and uh i think you'll find those very helpful as you continue your journey trading so oh i i also before i go i wanted to thank everyone who's recently purchased the accutrader system um if you have any questions just email me and also all my subscribers my channel is growing nicely much faster than i thought it was gonna gonna uh uh grow and and i owe that all to you so i really appreciate it also, I'm coming up with uh, the first update of the uh, uh, AccuTrader system, which is going to be a re-entry signal. Since some of the trades are quite long, can go on for a half hour, an hour, sometimes you'll take profit very quickly off the uh, immediate entry of the trade. Well, what this will do is if you did this, it will give you signals when uh, is a good time to possibly re-enter the trade in the same direction based upon some given criteria. And in my testing, I'm gonna do the final testing this weekend. It's really, really been um, very productive and um, looking very good. So now what's happening here, which I find very interesting, you can see earlier, there was a kind of a, a topping pattern. This was about an hour ago. And look at what's happened here. I'm just gonna draw a line across here to kind of show you. So what's happening is we're establishing now, this was resistance. So we came up, it touched it, pulled back down. Came up, 
went way up here with this wick and then it rejected down. Well, one of the tenets of technical analysis is they will keep pushing at it if they're if they're trying to move the market in a, in a certain direction. Bump your heads, bump their heads, and every time they touch it, bump it, or go through it, it weakens that as an area. Okay, so this was the first touch. There may have been more to the left. Then this one was really a hard touch. This line actually went through it. This one went all the way to the top. So this thing is soft. So they come up and boom, now with this candle, they push through it. But watch what happens is they went up and now what happens, it's called roll reversal on this line here. What was once support now becomes resistance. And so now the opposite as long as this is holding up here, they will have a hard time, meaning the, the sellers, uh, uh, pushing pushing down and getting back through this. So it was resistance on the way up, and now it's had a roll reversal and is now becoming support. And you'll see that uh, happening very often. So, okay, guys, hope this video made sense and hope you got something out of it. You guys uh, take care and have a good afternoon. I may be coming out with another video today if I have time. I have uh, uh, something I have to do with my daughter. Her school is starting next week, and there's some meetings at school we're supposed to go to. So uh, if I do come out with a video, it may be later in the day, and that's why. So you guys take care. Bye now.